Well, it's Easter weekend and a beautiful morning here in western Colorado. Darla and I got up this morning and just went through a walk through the woods here. As you can see, we still have a little snow on the ground and uh, just enjoying God's creation and all the illustrations that he has given us in creation that point us back to who he is. I love the illustration in the Bible of the pure white snow. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. God made such a, a wonderful plan for us a redemptive plan that his blood would cover up our sin. And so we'd be seen at judgment as pure white as snow through his penalty that he paid on the cross for us. Well, as I was walking around thinking about those things, I was reminded of an illustration that I got to see at camp growing up. We had a camp pastor that uh, had some very interesting illustrations. One he did with my shoelace. He borrowed my tennis shoelace, I handed it to him, and he said, David, here's what I want you to understand. God created us to have a perfect, unbroken relationship with him. God is all about relationship. Relationship with him, and for us to have a wonderful relationship with each other. But sin is what gets in the way of that relationship. Us doing anything that is displeasing from God, or anything outside of his perfect plan for our life. Well, here's what he talked about. Back in the Garden of Eden, created Adam and Eve, perfect, sinless. They could walk and talk with God in the cool of the day. But in that garden, God provided two things. He gave them choice. See, he didn't want robot followers. He wanted relationship. He wanted someone that he could care for and love, and someone that would honor that care and love by returning it and glorifying him. So in the garden, had two trees. Well, I had more trees than that, but two trees of significance. We have the tree of life that Adam and Eve could eat from freely, a tree that would sustain them, and they could live forever. And then we had this other tree, the tree that represented our choice to sin against holy God. He said, don't eat from that tree. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Just in that name, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, how wonderful would it be if we didn't even have to know what evil is? There is so much evil in the world today, it's just, it's just overwhelming. What we see on television, what we see in the newspapers, what we see over the internet, it, it's, uh, it's not getting better. It's not getting better. Evil is in the world, and it abounds. Because of the choice that Adam and Eve made. See, they got near that tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and they met the deceiver. And the deceiver is all about half-truths. He said that you'll be like God, knowing good from evil, if you eat from this tree. Well, guess what? They got to find out what evil truly was. And the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And here's how this illustration shows that. Even though Adam and Eve, created to be perfect, were able to be in God's presence because there was no sin separating them from God, they made that choice to go to that tree and defy God's law. Only one law in that garden. And it broke that relationship. So what do we do with a broken relationship with God? If that relationship is broken, we're doomed. We're doomed to an eternity separated from God. But God in His infinite love and His infinite wisdom provided a way out for us. He had a way to heal that relationship. But since the wages of sin is truly death, somebody had to die. Die permanently for that sin. Or die for that sin permanently. So he chose the cross. He came down to earth, became a man, walked among us, lived a perfect sinless life. And then, once again, he put his life on that tree to be a substitute for us. He took the stripes upon his back, he took the nails in his hands and feet, took that crown of thorns on his head, and died there, the King of kings and Lord of lords, to take our sin to that cross, that tree that once again can give us life. So because of his sacrifice on that tree, once again we have an opportunity, if we trust him, that we can live in that perfect, unbroken relationship with God once again. He can heal the damage that sin has done because he has conquered sin, and we can have that perfect relationship with him once again. That's what I desire in my life. 
I made that choice years ago that I wanted to follow Christ's way, not my own. Does that mean I'm perfect? No. I mess up daily. But because of the penalty He paid on the cross, I can accept His forgiveness. And I, my life, when I come before God in judgment, is going to be seen through Christ as being as pure as snow, because that's what His blood did for me. Thanks for joining me this morning.